Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to review the uh, question one of the first week in numerical analysis, math 3820. So we will uh, try to review the notion of the interpolation of the data and we will try to solve the question um, one A, B, C, D. All right, so before starting, uh, so I would like to say that uh, this is the environment of the MATLAB and before starting to do the question one let's see that we can like uh, assign the numbers to the X and the Y like two numbers and we can run it okay and we just leave it and the name is should be like this so and we can assign z equal to x plus y and we can run it and it will give us z equal 5 here which we expect but if we want to make this uh, i mean convert this to the function then I'm gonna write function equal to z equal summation with 2m with two input x and y and it should be z equal x plus y all right so if we run this one then the name automatically is sum with 2m and we will save it so the point is this number one so firstly uh, by running this one we don't get anything because we didn't mm, enter any input here and also the name of the function which is here sum with 2m should be the same as the uh, name of the file so we should uh, be mindful about this uh, I know that that might look a little bit stupid but uh, this is how it is all right so if we have this sum here if we put two numbers so it will work and it will call this function here this function and we will be able to um, use it and we can we can use that function here also we have x y and we can call that function by typing the name of the function and we can make it this and it will be it will work so and also please note that this can be like different it shouldn't be really y always it can be t so the name is not important so it will work again so by having this little point we are going to review question one in this video and question two in the uh, second video of the first week okay so this is the first file and let's go here and here for the interpolation uh, as you know that we need just two inputs x data and y data okay and for x data i mean x0 x1 x2 and so on correspondingly y0 y1 y2 and so on so with the with using these two information or these couples or, pay, uh, or pairs we can create the van der Mont matrix and we can use the natural um, basis and create the interpolation of the data but we can ask that what the uh, rule of the x values here well after setting the van der Mont matrix using the x data and solving the linear system uh, using the y data then the coefficient is ready so 
we have this a1, a2, a3 and a n until the x to the n minus 1. And since we are in MATLAB, the index is starting from the 1. Otherwise, we know that we, it is a sub 0, a sub 1 until a sub n minus 1. So the number of the x data uh, is the same as the number of the coefficients. All right. So we see that px can be generated, but we are not going to uh, generate a symbolic p of x. So we will have to have some the extra like interpolation of the uh, the points between the uh, inter uh, between the x dots, and we will create the uh, p of x. In those x values and also well uh, obviously we have the already we got already x data as, as well okay so for x data x values sorry x values we can choose the interval for example between the minimum of the minimum of the x uh, data until the uh, maximum of the x data all right, so let's go and review this question here. Okay, so here, uh, question, uh, so you can download the interp, interp vand file from the can canvas, but since I created my own version, so I call it new interp vand. So as we discussed, we need obviously x data and y data and x values that we will create the polynomial in that uh, in that uh, interval okay so the x data we need to know that the number of the x data there as a result we, we will know that how many coefficients do we need to find and using the x vectorization so x data so we have x data x0 x1 until x sub n minus 1 okay and this is this part this uh, vector or column vector in fact uh, to the power 0 okay this exponent here means 0 one time to the 0 one time power to the 1 one time uh, power to the 2 until n minus 1 okay so this v will create this this command will create a matrix of with a size n by n using the column vector x data okay so this is uh, so but i should say that mathematically it's not true so but this is just the command in matlab uh, it is possible to write this one you using a loop but this is the easiest way and the fastest one all right so we have the Vandermont matrix and we are going to uh, uh, so we we got the y data and we are going to use this one a equal the system of the equation um, we need to find so we know that Vandermont matrix times uh, coefficients a equal to y data okay so from there it is possible um, to write that a equal to uh, one the inverse of the Vandermont matrix times y data how to how do we write that one using this command okay so by using this command we have the coefficients all right so so x values x we will choose the x values not here in this not in function we will determine that what will that be okay as i said usually the minimum of the x data and maximum of the uh, x data will be the, uh, the interval that we will choose it for x values okay now polynomial okay uh let's review here polynomial interpolation polynomial then the first one is a1 so 
I choose the first polynomial a1 so a1 times 1 okay once here it depends on the okay so x values here x values you can assume that we have just one x from the x value so if we have one x so we will create one p of x if we have m of if the number of the x values okay this one here or third input here if the length of the uh, x values is m therefore we will uh, find m of the p m of p x so the number of the interpolation that we are going to find is m okay so the first one is a1 so we choose that a1 times uh, the um, times to the column vector including just number one okay but you can assume that it's just one okay then in the second um, for finding the other coefficients a of two a of three and we will use loop okay it's like this from the second coefficient we are starting to write it the loop is starting from the second coefficient so polynomial equal to polynomial then it's updating with uh, adding a k let's assume that k is equal to a2 times x value so assume that x value is just not uh, one number so x value times so a2 times x to the one if it's k is equal three then x should be k minus one okay so with this with using this loop we will be able to find the polynomial now x value as i said that assume that for the first time for understanding this code better assume that it's just one value okay but if it is uh, several value i mean m if the length of the x value is m then this is this will be this will work okay because x value dot exponent so dot exponent because x value can be a vector which will be usually okay okay now we are going to use this function this function here which its name is new interp band and uh, plot it okay for the plot as i said x values x values can be chosen minus four until four or minimum of the x data which is minus four and maximum of uh, x data which we have chosen to be for x values and x data as we as, it, as it's as it's here okay here minus four minus three okay and y data okay now we are we have the three inputs okay so we can call new interp vand um, function which we just created here okay, all right so x data y data x values and we can start to plot this function okay so these things are extra you can google and to see what they are really and i just let's add this one here grid on and let's run it all right that's right okay so this is the interpolation and uh, you can see that um, the plot of the interpolations interpolates or passes from all the x data and it's possible to obtain any number x tip and uh, data tip uh, to on to know that the value of the y if we choose x between the x dot us.